फोर साइडेड पॉलीगन विच नेम इज क्वाड्रिलेटरल नेक्स्ट फाइव साइडेड पॉलीगन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव फाइव साइडेड पॉलीगन विच नेम इज पेंटागन ए पॉलीगन हैज फाइव साइड्स दिस पॉलीगन इज कॉल्ड एज पेंटागन पी ए एन टी ए जी ओ एन हेच सी एफ ऑफ टू कंसिक्यूटिव नंबर सी इज ऑलवेज वन लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल लेट्स टेक टू काम थ्री फर्स्ट रईट फैक्टर साफ टू वन इंटू टू फैक्टर साफ थ्री वन इंटू थ्री द काम फैक्टर इज वन वन इज काम फैक्टर आफ टू कंसिक्यूटिव नंबर टू वन थ्री सो वन इज द हाइयेस्ट काम फैक्टर सो वन इज द हेच सी एफ आफ एनी टू कंसिक्यूटिव नंबर टू सेंटीमीटर्स आर ईक्वल टू डैश मिलीमीटर्स वन सेंटीमीटर ईक्वल टू टेन मिलीमीटर्स देन टू सेंटीमीटर्स ईक्वल टू ट्वेंटी मिलीमीटर सो आंसर इज ट्वेंटी नैक्स्ट द लाइन सेगमेंट पी क्यू इज डिनोटेड बै डैश दिस पॉइंट पी क्यू दिस इज नाट करेक्ट आंसर दिस इज रे आफ पी क्यू दिस इज स्ट्रईट लाइन आफ पी क्यू so this is line segment so which one is correct answer d so d is correct answer find the least number which when divided by 12 comma 16 comma 14 and 36 leaves a remainder 7 in each case here the word least means we have to find the lcm this is hint okay Let's take the numbers. Given numbers: twelve, comma sixteen, comma fourteen, comma thirty-six. All the even numbers. So first, take two table. In two table, twelve comes six times. Sixteen comes eight times. Fourteen comes seven times. Thirty-six comes eighteen times. So now again, we can take two table. In two table, six comes three times. Eight comes four times. There is no seven in two table, so just copy the number. Next, eighteen comes into table nine times. Now we can take three table. Three comes in three one time. Four there is no four in three table, so just copy number. Again we can copy seven. Nine comes in three table three times. Next, four table copy one one time. Seven, three. So again, take seven table one one. Seven comes in seven table one time. Copy three. Next three. In three table one 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 time. Now do multiply all the factors. Two into two into three into four into seven into three. Two two ja four four three ja twelve twelve four ja. Forty eight into seven three ja twenty one. So twenty one multiplication. First multiply with the one table. Forty eight leave one place. Next multiply with the two table. Two eight ja sixteen one is carry forward sixteen six here. Two four ja eight eight uh, six or ten nine plus one ten. So L C M is one thousand eight. Therefore, the least number which when divided. By twelve, sixteen, fourteen, and thirty-six leaves a remainder seven in each case, equal to one thousand eight plus seven. Here the given leaves remainder, so we have to add seven to the given LCM. So one thousand eight plus seven is equal to one thousand fifteen. Is the required number. That's it. Name each of the following triangles in two different ways. First, they given this is right angle triangle. Why? Because here angle is ninety degrees, so right angle triangle. Right angle triangle. The lengths of three lengths of that given triangle are different. So this is 
another name scale and triangle come to the second problem these two sides are equal so this is isosceles triangle angle is greater than 90 degree so this is obtuse angle triangle where will the hour hand of a clock stop in the following cases explain your answer let's see prob sub problem number 1 start at 2 and makes a half of revolution clockwise uh, sub problem b start at 5 and makes a 3 by 4 of a revolution clock half of a revolution means so 1 by 2 into 2 all hours 2 1 2 6 a get cancelled so 6 hours so the hand uh, have to move 6 hours if starts at 2 o'clock the hour hand of the clock stops at 2 plus 6 6 hours move so 2 plus 6 equal to 8 hours the hand stop at 2 8 hours next uh, uh, sub problem b 3 by 4 of your revolution means 3 by 4 into 2 hours so 4 1 ja, 4 3 ja. so 3 into 3 9 hours so the hand have to move 9 hours if start at 5 the hour hand of the clock stops at 5 plus 9 hours so 14 hours 14 hours also called as 2 hours so the hour hand stop at 2 hours this first figure represented the solution of sub problem A a second figure represent the solution of sub problem B 8th problem check whether the number 10,824 is divisible by 2, 3, 4, 5 using divisibility rules, justify your answer. Given number, given number is 10,824. Next, check divisibility by 2. Unit digit of the given number is 4. So, 10,824 is divisible by 2. Next, check divisibility by 3. Sum of the digits of the number must be multiple of 3. First, uh, let's take uh, what is the sum of the digits of the given number. 1 plus 0 plus 8 plus 2 plus 4 equal to 15. 15 is the multiple of 3. So, the given number is divisible by 3. Next, check divisibility by 4. Last two digits of the number must be divisible by 4. In the number... Uh, 10,824 last two digits are 24 so 24 is divisible by 4 24 comes in 4 table 6 times so 24 is divisible by 4 so the given number is also divisible by 4 next check divisibility by 5 the unit digit of the given number is neither 0 nor 5 so the given number is not divisible by 5 problem so problem b draw any four types of polygons and name them first triangle a triangle has three sides so name T R I A N G L triangle next four sided polygon which name is quadrilateral next five sided polygon one two three four Five. five sided polygon which name is pentagon 1 2 3 4 5 6 six sided polygon which name is hexagon that's it